Let's turn now to Capitol Hill, where it's not just high-profile lawmakers coming under the microscope, but their family members as well. Fresh ethics concerns surrounding Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and what he knew about his wife's efforts to pressure the White House into overturning the 2020 presidential election. And a new twist in the ongoing investigation into Hunter Biden, a shocking new Washington Post report shining a light on the president's son and his multi-million dollar business dealings in China. News Nation Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief Mike Vicara joins us live. So, Vic, a bit of a family affair there in D.C. Let's start with Hunter Biden. It's an investigation yeah. that's proceeded on and off for years, but all of a sudden this is escalating. Yeah, you can call it the family ties that bind a growing ethical and legal controversies here in Washington involving some eye-popping sons, especially with regard uh, to the president's son, Hunter Biden, and the president's brother, James Biden. Uh, these allegations, an active DOJ probe, by all accounts, it's expanding. It involves potential money laundering, potential tax evasion. Uh, and other charges, lobbying for a foreign entity but would be one of them. I'm joined now by, now by Niall Stanich. Hey, Niall, how are you? Happy you. Thursday uh, of our partners from the Hill. Uh, Niall, I want to show you something that was brought to the Senate floor by Chuck Grassley. He, of course, the venerable Republican from Iowa, where he talked about some of the sums that are involved here that they found in an independent Republican investigation. $100,000 a month as a retainer for Hunter, Tops, uh, Hunter Biden to work for a Chinese entity with ties to the Chinese Communist Party. $500,000 right off the top uh, as a one-time payment to Hunter. And $65,000 a month for James Biden, the president's brother. That's nice work if you can get it. it certainly is. We're in the wrong business, I think. Nobody's yeah. ever offered me a million uh, boxes of retainer. So this, is, this is not Billy Beer, President Carter's brother. This is, these are some serious allegations here with potential criminal or legal implications for the president's son. They are. I mean, we know that there is some level of criminal probe. Now, obviously, charges have not been pressed yet, but it is a serious matter. I think, though, in addition... There's the criminal element of it, or the potential criminal element of it, but there's also the political element. It just smells terrible yeah. to have these sums of money being given to the president's son in areas that his expertise is not um, conspicuous, right. let's put it that way. And so that's a problem. And, and this is on top of the allegations. Of course, we all heard about Burisma, the Ukrainian energy concern. It was a topic of conversation uh, around the, the impeachment uh, of President Trump. Uh, but we're talking about something that goes beyond simply an appearance. We're talking about the question of what could Hunter Biden possibly bring to the table for this Chinese company to pay him these astronomical sums of money. And this has gone now beyond sort of the partisan witch hunt. I don't think that, that Democrats can make that claim anymore. I agree with that. I think when this story first emerged, they tried to do so. There were suggestions of disinformation, right. of it being purely partisan-based. But now we see this being, being picked up, and there isn't really that suggestion anymore that it's a fiction. There is clearly a real story. Right. There. Let's stick to this theme of family ties. And, and we're talking about now Ginny Thomas. Of course, she's the wife of Clarence Thomas, the associate justice of the Supreme Court, very conservative. Uh, a firestorm now about some emails and some texts she traded with Mark Meadows, President Trump's chief of staff, in the aftermath of the presidential election, promoting QAnon-type conspiracies, uh, urging him to fight and overturn the election. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi today had a reaction to a lot of this. Well, if your wife is an admitted and proud contributor to a coup of our country, maybe you should weigh that in your ethical standards. So Nancy Pelosi's fallback position is we need to have the Supreme Court have an ethical code of conduct. But that's not what a lot of the people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez mm -hmm. And Ilhan Omar, they want Clarence Thomas impeached. Mm -hmm. Or to resign. Is that realistic? No, it's not. I mean, he's not going to be impeached and he's not going to resign. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a legitimate ethical issue here. There is, and it's one that, that goes beyond his wife's opinions to the way that her interests and his coincide. Right. Okay, Nicole, so a lot to chew on here. Uh, Hunter Biden, some serious allegations. Uh, we should point out that President Biden, of course, has not been implicated in any of this nor has Justice Thomas. Nicole? All right, Vic, 
Niles, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.